Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert your GoToWebinar um, WNV file um, into a format where you can either import it into Camtasia or just take that WMV file and you can upload it into YouTube. Now, if you've tried this, you'll come across loads of errors. This is a common problem. Uh, GoToWebinar adds a codec to the WMV file that you get after you've recorded a webinar. So there's loads of ways and there's some ways around it. This one's the easiest one I've found and it works. Um, you might have seen videos showing how to use ex in, sorry, Expression Engine and I was using that and it was actually cutting out the audio and even cutting off the audio towards the end of the webinar recording so that didn't work for me but um, this is how you do it. If you're watching this video on YouTube below there's going to be a link to my blog which will contain all the links to what you need to look at or where you need to go to read but it's pretty straightforward. There's a couple of ways initially this Genius um, Glenn D at Citrix has coded this batch file, um, and he even says here there's method one is you uh, use the go to webinar recording preferences, and you can change to the WMV file. You still need to do this codec fix, and the other option here, method two, is use the free expression encoder, and this one is one I've used, method three, which is pretty much the same as method one, but you have to use his batch file. Now this is a real I've been at this for about five hours trying to get my files converted. The thing with using Expression Engine, it was taking so long to convert the files. And then I tried this batch file. So basically, all you do is you download this batch file. He's put a link to it on his site. It takes you to um, Dropbox. Here it is. Sorry, download this batch file. And all I downloaded was the converter zip. Okay, so I downloaded that and I unzipped it. I've got it in a folder here. And all you all you actually have to do is get your file and drag it onto that converter dot bat file okay that's all you actually need to do um you also well sorry the other option is actually to know your build number for go to meeting or go to webinar to get that it tells you how to get it here so you, all you need to do is open up your go to webinar i've got it open here i'm going to right click choose about it gives you the build number mine's 880 Okay, so I've got it from their version build 880. That's what I use anyway, and it works. So all you actually have to do is get the WMV file and you just drag it on top of this converter.bat. So I'm just going to drag it, plop it on top there, and then I click run and it prompts and it asks me for the batch file number. I just type in 880 and I press enter and it starts running. Okay, um, some of uh, these webinars I'm doing are over an hour long, so they're going to take 30 to 40 minutes to process. You can still use your PC, but I tend to not and just you know, let it run. And that's all you need to do. It um, when I done it, it didn't generate a new file name or anything. It just uh, kept the file name, the existing file name, in the same location. And the beauty of this was, once you've done it, I could then bring it into Camtasia, and then I can render it from Camtasia into MP4 or whatever format you want to use. Um, that's the main thing: is bring it into Camtasia to be able to render. Because if you bring the original Go to webinar file into Camtasia, you, it'll crash. It will just won't be able to render it because of this codec, which is this G2M4 codec, which is added by Go to webinar. So, what this guy has coded is um, this batch file actually removes the codec. So that's what it's doing. It's taking the codec that Go to webinar add. It's taking it out of the MP um, WMV file, and then you've got a great file to work with. Okay, so hope that helps some of you. I'll put the links below this video um, or sorry, on my blog. So just click on the link below this video and you get the links to Glenn D. Citrix site where you can get the batch file and there's also another support article from Citrix and it's the same or similar batch file. I've not used it but that's how you do it. You're converting files, you're removing the codec and then you can bring it into Camtasia and you can render it from there. Okay.